All right, friends, so we are here to start um, our final uh, reading module before we move into review. Uh, this is module nine in our HMH curriculum, and it's called Unexpe Unexpected and Unexplained. Um, and you'll notice as you're looking through your HMH My Book or the digital copy if you never picked one up, um, that it's all about mystery, okay? Talking about the true mystery of the world is the visible and not the invisible. So our essential question for this unit um, is what makes something mysterious and what makes people want to solve mysteries? So we're going to be looking at a couple of different selections, um, some about fictional mysteries, some about uh, informative mysteries, things that are actually happening in the world, um, and always going through with this overall essential question. So we're going to go ahead and watch the Get Curious video to kind of start us off, and then I'm going to get you started uh, with a short read to start off this module. A dark and stormy night. A flash of lightning. Suddenly, familiar things look strange. Is that a monster? Oh, a backpack. Whew. That was like an eerie effect in a horror movie. What was that? Go back to sleep? Impossible. The suspense is too much to ignore. Is it coming from that way? No. That way? Yes. It's outside the window, reaching for something. The hands are getting closer. The fear factor is taking over. <sighs> Just a tree branch. But wait. What's that? A different sound. Just ignore it. Where is that coming from? It's coming from the other direction. That's a clue. It's inside the house. It's alive. It's some kind of creature trying to get in. Oh, that's no mystery. It's just Oscar. It's just rain, Oscar. Go to sleep now, boy. What's a mystery you would like to solve? All right, so a very silly video, but it does kind of uh, connect us back to that quote from Oscar Wilde on the beginning of our module page, uh, talking about that the real mysteries, the things that are visible, the things that we have around us. Um, and I'm sure we've all had that uh, an experience like that where, you know, we're not exactly sure what something is. We start to get scared about it, but then we figure out what it is. Um, they use some vocabulary in there as well that you'll definitely want to be familiar with. Uh, these are in your my book. Um, and uh, there's suspense, falsify, factor, and effect. Um, I really want us to focus on suspense. This is something that's really going to be uh, apparent throughout these mystery writings. Suspense is excitement or anxiety due to an uncertain situation. And um, we're going to be experiencing some suspense most likely as we're reading these mysteries because we're not going to know what's going to happen. All right, so... We're going to go ahead and be reading this short read. Uh, before I get you started on this, I do want us to review author's purpose. Uh, so you remember, um, we can think of an author's purpose as a pie. That's a great way for us to go ahead and remember that an author's purpose is to either persuade, inform, or entertain. So if I'm persuading, then that author wants people to feel a certain, uh, a certain way. We can think about this, um, especially with like commercials. Um, People who write commercials are definitely ones who are persuading um, or like ads. Inform to share information about a topic. Um, that's definitely like our nonfiction genre. And then lastly, entertain just to enjoy the story. That's definitely our fictional genre. So uh, be keeping in mind these three purposes. Um, and you're going to be applying this when you go ahead and do the short read for this lesson. So... Uh, in just a moment, you're going to go ahead and start. Let's see, here we are. I'm doing this is on page 236 of your HMH My Book, um, or you can go ahead and use the digital one that is linked in our graphic organizer. Uh, but it's about why people love mysteries. It's only two pages, okay? And so you're going to go ahead and read. Um, and there are some 
uh, thinking prompts for you that are connected in the Canvas. And then once you're done with reading, you'll go ahead and answer that exit in the Canvas as well. This shouldn't take you more than about 20 to 30 minutes, so definitely make sure that you get it done today, as is our plan. All right, go ahead and scroll down and continue with this Canvas assignment.